Hi, I'm Dennis, and today we're repairing a frozen focus lens on an Afka Islet 1 medium format folding camera. And then when we get done fixing the lens, we will be collimating it so um, it'll be ready to use. Get those pictures right in focus. Let's get to it. But first, hit the subscribe button down in the lower right hand corner. Ring the bell so you get notified when the next video comes out. And I certainly would appreciate it. We'll get started on this. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. Um, I've got some tools laid out, a couple spanners. I'm going to do a video just on tools one day, um, but uh, I want to get this isolate fixed before before that. So, and uh, some small screwdrivers, some scissors just in case, some tweezers, and a couple of hose clamps. You'll see what we use that for. So hopefully this is all successful. Like I say. Um, I haven't done one of these for a long time, so we'll see what happens. Let's get the back opened up here, and uh, I'm going to close this up. If you can see these notches, that's the um, bolt or whatever you call it uh, that holds the um, the lens to to the um, Actually, to the back of the, uh, or to the front of the bellows. So you got to be careful here because um, you don't want to end up damaging your bellows or damaging your lens. You just kind of gently move it around and get your spanner correct, adjusted correctly. And if you don't have a spanner, I mean you could use a screwdriver, but um, really the spanners are, are nice to have because if you only use it once, it's still it's still a pretty good deal. Um, I've got two of them. This one here is a, is a lot bigger one. It was it wasn't cheap. Uh, this one here is is a little bit cheaper. Well, actually I think it was a lot cheaper, but I've had the big spanner for for quite a few years. So after we get that loose, we'll get it out. And there's a couple folds hitting it, but uh, it'll be okay. We might open it just a little bit. And actually I'm going to keep it closed. Because it won't hurt the bellows. And um, if, you, if you try to remove it from... Um, with a spanner way down inside, it um, you really run a risk of, of damaging your lens. So this is loose enough that I'm I expanded it and I'm still just using my finger to get that out of there. And uh, it's out. As you can see, like I say, that was just holding the front of the bellows. And so this shutter should come out. So now we can set this aside. We don't um, particularly need it. Now this little adjuster, it'll it'll have three tiny screws. And so um, if you don't have real tiny screwdrivers, you probably want to invest in some of those too. They're, they're not that expensive and um, they sure come in handy. But you don't want to take these out. You just go around and loosen them up. There we go. To where that comes out. So now, the trick is, is getting this out. Let's see what we can do.
So I'm going to try to get this around there and I'm using some duct tape to try to keep it from uh, damaging anything. And we're going to crank that down. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this rear lens out. Like I say, this has been a long time since I've uh, done one of these. Done so many of them back years ago. I don't know why I didn't um, do a video on it, and then I wouldn't have any problems remembering all the steps that I took. But again, be really careful. Getting your spanner lined up. Once you get it loosened up, it's pretty easy to get out. So we'll set that aside so nothing happens to it. Okay, let's get back to see if we can It felt like it uh, broke loose there. But I, I'm sure it's what it is, it's it's it didn't come loose. Well, it come loose from it come loose from the lint, or from the shutter. But what happens is this this front lens I don't know if you can see it right here is screwed in to the other one this is where it's, it gets all green old green grease and uh, gets all gunked up so now we've got to see if we can um, get these loose And if not, the alternative, which maybe I should have just tried the first time. Now I'm going to put this right on the lens. I've done this before, and as long as you get it tight, it won't hurt anything. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, it slipped off. I don't, um, I'll try it again here, but, um, if it slips off again, I'm going to, um, try soaking them. And then we'll just have to get back to it later. Yep, I'm going to soak them. So this will take a few hours at least. So uh, we'll stop here. I'll soak them and see you can see, even see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, you can see some some gunky grease right there. So we got to get them separated and uh, get that grease cleaned out and and we'll put a little bit of grease back on it. Okay, let's get to soaking it. Okay, we're back. Um, got the lens uh, pulled apart. Um, it was uh, really stuck. It was uh, pretty difficult, so it, it wasn't going to be easy to show um, on video. But I'll explain what I did. I soaked it for a few hours. Um, tried to get it apart. I could not get it. Um, 
so I soaked it some more and then um, I still couldn't get it so I heated it up with the hair dryer real good and using hose clamps you just about have to use hose clamps I don't know how uh, how you get it apart um, otherwise because it just it really gives you something to grip grip a hold of to uh, twist and get some leverage um, so I, I I mean I don't know I always use hose clamps but um, maybe some other you, you guys have uh, different luck uh, doing it a different way but anyway I finally got it apart um, actually while I was waiting and soaking I went ahead and put the shutter back in because there's no sense in and leaving all that stuff apart you can um, go ahead and put the shutter back in and get that off that rear lens put back in because all you're going to be doing is um, working with the front here and I've actually got the um, the uh, inside lens put back in and uh, cleaned and um, I got the other one here it's it's clean and um, and I always uh, Seems like it um, takes me forever to get this thing started. See how free it is? Hope you can see that. It's just uh, really free. I'll put a couple dabs of grease. It doesn't take a whole lot. Just uh, just a few dabs uh, around it. That's actually probably too much here. A little bit now I try to get that back in there and so uh, this was this was um, probably one of the harder ones I've ever had and there we go so uh, we'll get this put back in work that grease around a little bit now before I say I'm done I'm gonna put that on the shutter on bulb setting make sure I don't have anything on that lens looks pretty good I think it'll be okay if not I can get it apart real easily what needs to be done now you can't just uh, put the ring back on and be and say you're done with it you actually have to um, to uh, culminate it and so stick around because I will explain what I'm going to do when I uh, collimate it okay to collimate the lens I've got a focus screen that I've etched an X into and uh, what I will do is tape that we can close that up for a second we're going to tape that back of the camera and we're going to focus on that X that I have um, etched in there and uh, if you've never collimated a lens um, I've got a real old video that uh, I'm going to be putting back on well I'm going to redo it a little bit and I'm going to put it uh, back up and it shows up collimating the lens and um, I actually did it with collimated it with the video camera I uh, usually use a 35 millimeter camera but I actually did it with the video camera so you will actually see focusing in on the X um, I'm not going to show that today I'll set up to where you can kind of see what I'm doing with the 35 millimeter camera what, what I'm going to do is open it up and then I'm going to set it to bulb I'm going to push the shutter button but I'm going to tape it down so it keeps the shutter open because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to focus I'm going to put the light up to the back and I'm actually going to focus 35 millimeter camera in there on that X well, I'm not going to focus it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to look into that camera through the 35 millimeter camera and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this around until it comes in focus looking through the millimeter cam 35 millimeter camera 
When it's in focus, I will stop. You got your mark right here. I will put this on and I will set it right to affinity and then tighten those three screws that are around it and be done. And that'll be all there is to it. It'll take me a few minutes to get set up here, but that's what I'm going to do. So that's, that's all there is to it. And uh, you should be able to see there now that um, at the back, that the lens is open. So I'll put this on a tripod because I want my hands free. And uh, we'll get it collimated and the um, camera will be done. Okay, we got our focus screen on the back taped down. Got our shutter button on B and we got it taped down. So we're looking straight through to the light or straight through to that X on the back of the plate. So now I got my 35 millimeter camera, so it's just a matter of getting it lined up in there and then start focusing. Got it lined up pretty quick. Now let's get it focused. Okay, that's out. Now we're coming in. Going out. I think that's it right there. I think we're in focus there. We've got to put our ring back on. Now the the video showing taking the camera apart was so crappy, I don't know if you saw, but it's got the three screws around this, and we left those screws in. We just backed them off just enough to get it out. So what we're going to do now, we got this focused to infinity. So we got our mark up here, and so we're going to get our infinity mark right here, and we're going to line that up with the mark. Make sure it's not crooked because it can hang up on um, one of these little screws make it really really crooked if you don't catch it okay we got the three screws lined up let's take another quick look make sure we didn't lose focus when we we're putting the ring on okay the shutter button uh, got tired of waiting on me let's take a quick look I think we're still good. That's it for this video. I hope, uh, I know the earlier video taking it apart really, really sucked. Um, I hope culminating the lens shows it, it, it doesn't take very long at all. Um, just setup takes the longest couple minutes and you got the focus back using the 35 millimeter camera. And um, if, if you don't have a focus screen, you could use wax paper, but just draw you a, a fine line like with the with a fine marker and then you could put that up on the back so you don't have to have a focus screen wax paper will do the same thing just get you an X on there tape it up on the back and the same thing see you next video well I hope you were able to get something out of the video the first part where we were taking the, the lens out of the camera I didn't do a very good job but uh, I have another isolate coming it'll probably have a frozen lens most of them do and so uh, maybe I'll make another video and uh, get that replaced so you can see it better. But anyway, um, I think I explained how I got the, the uh, lenses apart, how we put them back together. Then we collimated the lens, and that camera's all ready to go to shoot some nice pictures. And I'm, I'm pretty, like I say, it's for a little camera, it's a really nice camera and a lot of fun to shoot. If you could hit that thumbs up, that would be really great. That's it for today's video. Grab your camera, some film, and get out and shoot some pictures, and I'll see you in the next video.